Okay, the Home Affairs cancels Chidima's uh, ID and she has to apply for a new one. Now, there is a big issue here. So if you guys heard very carefully, the issue here is that she can't apply for a new one because there was fraudulent involved. So that means her whole existence in South Africa is illegal. Because in order for her to apply for a new ID, she must prove that she had resided here longer than 10 years. To, to, for her to apply for a, a permanent re, uh, for a permanent residency, which she can do, but the problem she resided here fraudulently. Issue number one. Issue number two. She must have a legal permit that allows her to apply for the South African permit. That means she must go back to Nigeria, get a South African visa. Now, which visa does she need to get? You see, she needs to get a legal visa, come back into South Africa, then apply for apply for an identity. So, the only outcome that makes sense is that Chidima, Chidima's mom, father, or whoever gets deported back to their native country. So, she can choose either Mozambique or, Z or Z I almost said Zimbabwe, <laughs> or Nigeria, and for tech. Because allowing her to stay in the country will open up loopholes for so many illegal foreigners and individuals who fraudulently got their identities that it will be almost impossible for the court to deal with this mess. They need to use this as an example. They need to pin, they need to literally tell this baby girl, listen, after, guys, she's literally, she's literally in Miss Nigeria, in Miss Nigeria, Miss Universe Nigeria. Why did they put universe in that shit? Miss Nigeria. They literally, in, she's literally in Miss Nigeria, after I've never seen this happen in the before. Do you know that if you play football for your international team, let's say for example, I play football for Angola, and I, I gain the South African citizenship after a couple of years. If I play for my international team, I can no longer play for any other country's international team. This is an international event that she participated in to represent her nation, which she claimed was South Africa. And now she goes and represents another nation, Nigeria, because she's got dual citizenship. You know how many people have dual citizenship and they cannot represent both countries? Imagine people with dual citizenships representing their countries in the Olympic. We saw an, a Nigerian who became an American and represented America. Now imagine that Nigeria, Nigerian woman representing both America and Nigeria. It doesn't make sense. The only outcome here is that Chidima needs to return back to her homeland and that's where she initiates and starts her life all over again. Doing it in South Africa is an insult. It's an insult to the law, it's an insult to the home affairs, it's an insult to the people that they stole their identity from and it gives a lot of power to identity thieves.